Hey guys, welcome to Daryl Intense. Tonight I've uh, made contact with my old buddy Greg Hatton. He's a river guide, he's a boat builder, freelance writer for Pendleton, for Patagonia, for Bare Bones, just a great guy. Owns a farm out on the east side of town and uh, we're gonna spend the night tonight. I'm gonna be in a shelter on one side of the pond. He's gonna be uh, on the other side of the pond. But we are gonna come together for a joint meal. Uh, tonight on tap, beef stew, cornbread, and for dessert I've pulled out the pie irons. We're going to use the croissant dough and put some Nutella and fresh strawberries. It should be good. Tonight my tent is a tarp, pulling out the tarp again, and they're going to set it up in a little different kind of uh, formation uh, using trekking poles. So I'm going to put the tent up and then we're going to get started on dinner. Okay, so here's what we've got. I've got uh, the wood stove on the inside. I've got the tarp shelter up, suspended uh, in the air with the uh, with two trekking poles. And uh, then for uh, for the bedroll, I've got a David Ellis canvas Grand Canyon swag cowboy bedroll. Stick a uh, sleeping bag in there, and I'm good to go for the night. All right, now it's time to start thinking about supper. All right, this is my buddy Greg Hatton. Greg, what are we working on here? What's the plan? Cooking with wood. Love it. I love it. Not a bad way to spend the day. Now let me give you a shot of the of the terrain. We're out on a farm. On the east side of town. That's all you can tell me. And that's all I can tell you. We'd have to shoot you. But a beautiful farm pond. And really, as the sun starts to go down, I'd imagine there'd be some wildlife running around in that little prairie out there. Beautiful night, a great night for some bacon and mushrooms. And Oh my goodness, I like it. Now the main entree tonight, we're having beef stew. Pork stew. Pork stew. And for dessert, I brought the pie irons. We're going to uh, break out the uh, crescent roll, Nutella, fresh strawberry ensemble for tonight. Oh, and we've got some cornbread to go with that. Not a bad night. Just trying to survive Corona, that's all. Okay, we got some mushrooms, morel mushrooms. Fresh. Fresh morel mudroom, mushrooms, a Midwest favorite, in bacon grease, rolled in flour, with a little bit of special smack your mama sauce. What a night. Look at that. Fresh fried morels. Bon appetit. All right, we're starting on uh, a little pork stew. So for starters, fresh corn.
Okay, Greg, what are we doing here? What all we got going on? We got fresh corn that we're putting into the stew, and what's already in there are some garbanzo beans, some red beans, some kidney beans, some, uh, what else we got? We got rotel in there, and we've got fresh pork butt that was smoked for about eight hours yesterday. All swimming around in some beef stock. Yes. Swimming around in some beef stock. Oh, boys. That is really going to be fine. And with all those beans, it's probably a good thing that my tent's on one side of the lake and your, side, your, your tent's on the other. Look at that. Pork stew on a camp out. And it's beautiful. Nearly 60 degrees. Sun's just going down. Wonder how our uh, Greg, you want to grab that hook and let's see how the Oh yeah. How the uh, cornbread's coming. We took just a uh, standard cornbread mix, but we took one of these ears of corn and actually cut more corn oh. off the cob. I think we're I think we're getting somewhere. I really do. I think we're getting somewhere. Not quite done. We want a little brown, a little golden brown on the top, but I think we're getting closer. Greg's chopping some wood for the fire and I'm going to dish out some cornbread. All right, now for our dessert tonight because really, what's a campfire and a camp out? without dessert. I'm taking a knife and I am cutting about a three, four inch uh, slice of croissant dough. Oh yeah, croissant dough. All right. And after I cut that, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking some Nutella. Yep. And I'm spreading Nutella. And I'm trying to do this one-handed because I'm holding a dad gum camera. And I wouldn't do it for just anybody, but I'm doing it for you all because you know what? We are going through this corona together. And you can count on me, okay? Who can you count on? Daryl Intense. <laughs> That's who you can count on. All right, so, so we're doing a little bit of that. Right, right, right. Let's get, let's fill. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's Nutella, people. All right. Then we're going to do the exact same thing over here, over here on the other side. Yep, yep. Knife swap. Knife swap. And it works a lot better with a butter knife. And thanks to my friends at Bare Bones for the use of the butter knife. There you go. Actually, thanks to my friend Greg Hatton, who loaned me his Bare Bones butter knife. Okay, so we've got that. Now, okay, and then, then, then you say, okay, now what do you do with that that's on the knife? You lick it. Careful not to... Careful not to slice your tongue. Then, we're going to fold this over, like so, on top of each other, and pinch it, right, see there, pinching it at the ends, right, and then, Greg, how we doing over there on the pie irons? Good. Good. All right, let's pop that open, Greg, and let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah, I'll oh, see. It's, uh, it's harder than it looks, isn't it? Look at that, are you kidding me? We're doing good, you're doing good. Let's keep it on there a little bit longer just so that bottom portion is, is clean and cooked good. And uh, he's taking one off, and then we'll put, then we'll put mine on. 
And uh, when he uh, when we get his off, I'll show you what we're going to do with it. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking freshly cut strawberries on top of this pastry with the Nutella inside. Yeah. And you know what? That's not going to be too bad. Now, let me hand this to Greg. Why don't you take your fork and cut that, cut into that. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Nutella and strawberries and pastries. Okay, that's what we got for dessert. Well, sitting back enjoying the evening. Greg, what time is it? Say it's O dark thirty. O dark thirty. We can still kind of see the sun going down. Light. It's light to the west. But a pot of hot water on the fire, and the fire is dancing nicely. Drafting well, no smoke coming in the tent. It's all going out the top, out through the stove uh, pipe. Everything's burning nicely, no smoke coming out, and I've got the door completely open on the stove. It's drafting back to the back as it should, 
back around the shelf and up through the stovepipe at the front by just above the door. So it's all drafting nicely. It's 9.30 at night. It is, what's the temperature inside the tent? Uh, about 50 degrees. Uh, I know it'll warm up here uh, shortly. Uh, doubt if I'll put any more wood on this fire. It just doesn't take much. This, uh, this box starts radiating well. Fire's been going for about 10 minutes and we're at 60 degrees. Not too shabby. Door's still open and the stove is drafting exactly as I'd hoped. From the inside of the tent, don't know how well you can see the stove pipe goes right up out that jack and about 11 feet is the is the link to the end of the tent and uh, about uh, looks like about four and a half feet tall to the ridge pole so plenty of space here it's working out really well I really like this and I think I'm gonna turn down I'm gonna set the alarm for 6 a.m. in the morning I want to get up in time and uh, get around grab a cup of coffee and watch the Sun come up I'll wake you up then good night well good morning 44 degrees at 6.03. Not too bad. Nice and toasty warm in the sleeping bag. Let's get up and catch the sunrise. What a beautiful morning. Not a cloud in the sky. It's going to be a good one. Sun's just Popping up over the hill, gonna be a brand new day. Yesterday's gone, the night is over. Brand new beginning. Hope you have a good one. Well, listen, thanks for watching Daryl Intense. If you don't mind, if you like the video, why don't you go ahead and click that big blue thumb. Click that like button if you don't mind. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you join me on all of my excursions. Click the subscribe button, and then uh, if you click the bell right next to the subscribe button, then uh, every time I post a new video, you'll be notified. Again, thanks for watching. God bless.